Hi, it's a lipstick gal. Thank you so much for watching today. I had a request from Caitlin to do a video based on one of the things I say all the time, my purse lipstick. Okay, this is for me when I'm thinking about a lipstick that is what I would want to have with me all the time. Hence, I call them my purse lipstick because if I'm ever leaving the house, I'm never without it. These are the things that I reach for regularly. Now, criteria changes based on season. So sometimes I'll want something that's a little bit more opaque since we're heading into warmer weather right now. A lot of these are lighter weight. They're a little bit on the sheer side, not all of them. And they're easy to apply without a mirror. Not all of them, but most of them. The other thing that is crucial for me is to make sure that I have a shade that's gonna go with a lot of makeup looks. And then on top of that is low maintenance. So a high maintenance lipstick is the one that kind of finds all the lines and <laughs> because I sometimes take a lipstick but not a lip liner. And I do not wanna to have to have like a bright bold color kind of just feathering out the vermilion border. That is a no for me. So I want something that's going to be comfortable. I want something that's easy to apply color that's going to go with most anything and then on top of that something that is low maintenance i think there's only one mat in here and these are not in any particular order i just I have a bin full <laughs> so let's start now this is not one that you can get right now i love bomb.com cool thing is glossier just announced that they are discontinuing their vegan version and the original version that has lanolin and beeswax is coming back and they're bringing it back. This right here is, I think, hot cocoa. Hot cocoa with a limited edition holiday scent flavor shade. So this one's not available, but they had it, like they brought it in for 2022 holiday and then 2023 holiday, they brought it back. It was like, hooray, as well as cookie butter, which was 2021's holiday shade. So this might be back later, but for me, it's an easy lip balm that I don't have to think about. That's the first thing. And I always like something that's slightly tinted. So the new strawberry one has been in and out of my purse. That one right now is sitting at my editing desk. But this one is nourishing, comfortable, sheer color. I can wear this with anything. I can put this over the top of a lipstick that is maybe, I didn't drop it in my purse, but I need some color on my lips. I feel like having your favorite balm in your favorite shade with you is like the definition of a purse lipstick. So this is something that I always have with me. I'll swatch these for you as well. So this right here is the balm.com hot chocolate, but just think of this as your favorite hydrating lip balm. I love a lip oil lip gloss hybrid and this is my favorite one from the drugstore this is the fruit fetish from milani um, this right here is the shade cranberry current i did they re-release this this was like a holiday shade like around thanksgiving this came out sold out like that they restocked it sold out again but they have some really beautiful colors what i like about this is like how juicy the doe foot is it's also very hydrating and is one of those it takes no effort <laughs> no effort at all and that's what i'm looking for so a lot of these are going to be similar this sometimes is what i'll have in my purse instead of this because sometimes I'll, I'll end up with like 15 or 20 lipsticks at the bottom of my purse so i dump it out on my bed and i put like two back in but these are the sorts of things that i'm always looking for something that's hydrating something that's glossy something that's sheer and feels good on the lips so this one here i also really love the one in um what is it something agave blackberry agave oh i have that one but i had a couple of other brown shades in here i've gone through multiples of these milani fruit fetish lip oils i like this formula the best the one thing to keep in mind is that you're getting not as much as you think you're getting point is it 0.14 or 0.014? You're getting a fraction of an ounce. There are other ones. Um, I think it's 0.14 for these ones from Milani. And they're in the you know low teens. They're beautiful. I think they're worth it. I continue to purchase them. But keep in mind price per ounce when you're looking for things like this. Here's another lip gloss, lip oil hybrid. This is $8. This is from e.l.f. This one here, oh boy, I can't tell you what shade it is. It's the darkest one it's probably some sort of a berry shade but this it's clear on the bottom and it's black and the inside is so dark i can't tell you but again one of those that has a really nice comfortable doe foot is glossy hydrating just a sheer tint of color i have the red one in what is it 
Red Delicious. Oh, that one's great too. They look good, they feel good, they are tenacious, they hang on, they don't go everywhere. They, they make my lips feel better. And here you're getting 0.25 ounces. So almost, not quite, but almost twice the amount in here. This is $8 and this is what, $12, $13? Just something to keep in mind if you're shopping at the drugstore. I feel like these two formulas of lip oils, lip glosses, really hold up to some of the more expensive high-end ones I've tried. Um, I'm not saying all lip products are created equal, but the experience here is good and they don't ever leave my lips like lacking. Here is the last of the lip gloss lip oils and this one is from Beauty Pie. This is the Wonder Gloss Collagen Lip Oil. This is kind of like in 2020, I picked up one of these for the first time and I've gone through more than a dozen tubes, not just this color, but all the different shades. I have so many of these. Um, I'm the sort of person who'll take the stopper out and use my little teeny tiny spatula to get everything out. Like I want it all. <laughs> um, but this formula is kind of the formula that showed me that it's not lip gloss that I like. It's the type of lip gloss I had been wearing before. So this, like the other ones, have a really nice plush cushiness to them. This one is a little bit thinner than the two from the drugstore. The hard part about this is that Beauty Pie is one of those member only programs. Well, it's not, you could buy it if you're not a member, but you're gonna pay a lot more than they would charge me because I'm a member. And I feel like Beauty Pie is either for you or not for you based on the membership alone because if you sign up for the membership, you're gonna to wanna to get the most out of it, and then you're gonna be buying the bulk of your products from Beauty Pie. Some people love that. It's like one-stop shopping, because they have hair, they have skincare, um, they have makeup, they have candles and fragrance, and like all sorts of stuff, tools, brushes, yeah. But if that's not the sort of person that you are that you kind of like to cherry pick when you're shopping here and there and price points and everything, and you don't all want it coming from the same place, then Beauty Pie is not for you. But if you have a Beauty Pie membership and you have yet to try this and you like a comfortable, glossy, nourishing, shiny, but not too much, this Wonder Gloss Collagen Lip Oil is my favorite. This kind of started my obsession with glossy lip oils four years ago. And, and here I am still like, I need more. Here's a product that I have already finished an entire tube of and I had to repurchase. Now, someone like me who has a massive collection of lip products, do you think I'm the sort of person that finishes products very often? I have more than 300 lip balms, lipsticks, lip glosses. No, it takes a lot for me to get to the bottom of one, but this one right here is beautiful. This is from e.l.f. This is their Sheer Slick Lipstick. Now, they used to have a whole line of these and they kind of cut it back to just this shade. This shade is a very close dupe to Clinique's Black Honey. I really like it. It's right here. Uh, here's the one from Beauty Pie I forgot to swatch for you, but this one is called Black Cherry. I love this because I do not need $26 <laughs> to buy one from Clinique. And um, this one is super comfortable very very comparable i did at one point swatch this one and the CoverGirl clean fresh one um, alongside the clinique black honey and i feel like this one's the closest are they absolutely 100 percent identical they're not they're very close this is five dollars now here's the part that worries me is that this is frequently out of stock i used to be able to get this at walmart at walgreens at ulta not anymore they do keep restocking black cherry, but you can only get it. I've only found it, I should say that. I have only found it on the e.l.f. website. So when I bought this one recently, I got one for my cousin who loves this and could never find it anymore, and one for one of my kids. So I bought three at a time. But like even three of these, $5 a piece, that's less expensive than one tube of the Clinique. Now, I, I'm not saying don't buy the Clinique. If that's your favorite and you've always Great, go for it. I used to swear by that. I used to go through tubes and tubes and tubes of that. I've probably gone through more than a dozen tubes of that in my lifetime. But this is kind of the one that I'm like, yeah, this gives me that same feeling. Sheer, slightly berry, goes with almost any look and looks fabulous. This is why I feel like I don't have to have the Clinique. This is great. 
Here's one that's newer, and this is the lippy stick from Jones Road. This is one that I think I was talking about a purse lipstick in a recent video, and that's when Caitlin was like, okay, I wanna see your list of purse lipsticks. This one right here is the shade Deep Rose. And again, it's one of those that I don't need a mirror for, and I can just throw on. And it looks good with everything. Okay, so this is a slightly different formula. It is sheer, but buildable. It feels more like a thicker, slightly wax. Like these guys all have a little bit more shine to them and this one isn't as shiny. This looks more like, I mean, it has shine for about 30 minutes, but then it looks like my natural lip color, just a little bit more. I really, really like this. I like that it's slightly firmer. I kept this in my pocket all day yesterday and this was the lip product that I reapplied. And normally when I keep something in my pocket, it's close enough to my body that the product will get warm. And if it's a lipstick, can get a little soft. This never got to the point where it was soft and goopy. This never got so soft that, I mean, it might happen if you leave it in the car, but this I feel has a slightly higher melting point than some of the other things. And I like that it is a little bit firm because that tenacity of it staying on my lips means it's not gonna come off easily. It's also not gonna absorb absorb instantly. Like sometimes, like I, I love these guys, but I reapply this with Wild Abandon. Same with the Elf, same with the Beauty Pie. Um, and I'm just kind of like layering it on and 90 minutes later, do it again. This one, I don't have to. If you want to, you know, put something on and, you know, go through a cup of coffee, drink water from your water bottle. And then by lunchtime, when you're done eating, put on another layer, you might like this. But I really like this formula. This is one of those products that I could see that would turn into like something from Beauty Pie because I've probably gone through more than a dozen of these or something from Glossier because I've probably gone through more than two dozen of these. This is the sort of product that is easy um, and, and just like the perfect, almost nothing, but just a little bit. This next product, I do have multiples of in different shades. And the minute I end up with multiple shades in a certain formula, I know I love it. And this is from M Cosmetics. This is their lip cushion. This one here is in the shade Mona Lisa. It's the lightest, most nude. It is one of those gloss and stick form only advances, but I like this packaging much better than like the click up pen style that you get from Tarte or the ones from NYX. I, I think this is first of all, more elegant. It's not as soft as the other ones, but it still has that beautiful glossy shine to it. This formula has been around for a while. I really like it because it feels like a, a layer of cushy, soft, pillowy goodness. Um, here's what it looks like, Mona Lisa. It's the sheerest, most nude out of all of the ones from M. They have multiple shades. They're all lovely. Um, I've only tried three of the shades, but like this is one of those, especially the shade of Mona Lisa, because it's, it's hardly anything. It's a little bit glossy. It's a little bit nude. It's not too dark stupid easy to apply. This is the sort of thing that when I run out, I will need another. And I have so many lip products in my collection that sometimes I'm like, well, if I run out, it was nice to have tried it and let's move on to something else. There are certain ones that just would like have me, pull me in by the lapels and like, you will get another one. This is one of those. This next formula is another Glossier formula. And this is one of those that some people have a hard time with because the packaging is not always the best, okay? Um, I have one of these where the cap will not stay on, but I like the formula so much. I just make sure that's not the one I take with me in my purse. This is the first one I got and I've never had problems with it. This is the Ultra Lip from Glossier. This is the shade Fet. It's like their watermelon red. This definitely has more pigment than everything else I've been applying up to this point. What I like about this lipstick is that it is, first of all, low maintenance. Second of all, hydrating, does have some shine to it, wears off evenly. Um, it's really easy to apply and there are times that I want to wear a red but I don't need like a bold matte or velvet matte red that needs to have its hand held. This one is great. This is what it looks like. This is just one swipe. These ultra lip formulas are very comfortable. They're very nourishing. The problem that some people have is that the caps crack and then when you put them on they don't stay on. And if you were to drop it in a pocket or a purse or take it along with you in a makeup bag you might end up with it like this, and then product from here will get on something else. But I can tell, I mean, look how far down it is. The minute I have to like crank, crank, crank to get it up, like there's not a lot of this left. When I go through a product, 
which is rare. The fact that this has seen this much love and it hasn't gone bad, I reach for this all the time, which is kind of like, these are the sorts of products that I love to keep in my purse, easy to reapply, low maintenance, comfortable. This next one is one that I fell in love with last summer and was one of my purse lipsticks last summer. And it's very similar in formula, less expensive than the Glossier. It's from Romand. And this is their Glasting Melting uh, Balm. Yeah, that's what it's called, Glasting Melting Balm. And this is the shade, I think, Hippie Berry. But it's not really a berry, it's more of a red. This one here from Glossier, I feel is not quite as shiny as the one from Roman. This is a K-Beauty brand. It definitely feels thicker on the lips. And, and sometimes that sounds bad. If you like a really thin, lightweight thing, I wouldn't recommend this. You would probably prefer the Ultra Lip from Glossier or some other things that are not quite as heavy. But if you like a soft, cushy, plushy feeling where like you're like, mm, feels so good, this, this feels amazing. I also really like the shine that it gives. I have this formula in three colors. Again, one of those, when I have it in multiple colors, you know it's a fave. Um, the ones that I always repurchase and go back for more. This one is really good. You can get this on Amazon. You can get this on Yes Style. You can get this on Style Vana. Sometimes you can get them. I think they're about $14 a piece. Sometimes you can get them for half off. So I picked these up last summer when they were $7 a piece. And for $21, I got three absolutely gorgeous. I have kind of like a pinky mauve tone, a kind of sandy nude shade, and this red. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. But this is a sort of product that feels good on the lips. And I feel like it's not so much color that all of a sudden it's not going to go with just about anything. Because up to this point, I feel like all of them, even though I'm wearing kind of like a cooler taupey eyeshadow, it still works. And that's what I'm looking for. A product that's going to work with just about any makeup look I throw at it or even look good on a no makeup day. And all of these definitely qualify. I love Lisa Eldridge lipsticks, and I feel like would it be a lipstick video unless I mention one? This is the Luxuriously Lucent Lipstick Formula. This shade here is Kitten Mischief, and this is like a perfect nude shade for me. It's got a little bit of warmth to it, but not too much. I feel like this shade looks beautiful on so many different skin tones. This is thinner than the one from Romand, the Glasting Melting Balm that I had on before, but this one is also one of those that is not high maintenance. I have all but two of these luxuriously lucent shades. I have the red, I have the burgundy, I have the brown, I have multiple pinks. I love this formula so much. And even shades that I normally don't care for, like a peachy coral, I have the Je ne sais quoi shade. Stunning, I love it. So I feel like this stands in for any of the shades that I have in this range that I would say yes. The only two I don't have are Rosie's Shell and Dance Card. And those are just colors that I don't think would be the ones I would reach for. And when I'm paying $36 for a lipstick, I definitely wanna use it. But this shade here in Kitten Mischief could be interchanged just as easily with any other shade from this formula line. I think it's great. And again, most of them, I don't need a mirror to put these on. They just glide on. They're easy, hydrating, and they, they don't really travel outside my vermilion border. They look great with a lip liner, but I never pair them with one. I just do this. It's great. I love YSL lipsticks. I have so many different, I think I have five different formulas of YSL lipsticks, but this is one that I started using just this fall and I love, and it can get a little messy. You can see that here. This is the Candy Glaze. Okay, this is the shade number 15. Let me show you a little swatchy swatch. There you go. So this is definitely like your pigmented gloss in lipstick form. It's very soft, a little bit thicker. I haven't gone through a summer with one of these yet. I'm curious to see how they handle being in the handbag in a warm car <laughs> or if I'm sitting outside having lunch on the terrace or something. You know, you see what I'm saying? Where this could get temperatures because like it, it takes very little for this to melt on the skin. If you don't like a kind of a melting formula, stay away from this. I would recommend the Love Shine, these are new from them. I, I almost put one of these in, but it's like only pick one from YSL. These are thinner, they're not quite as glossy as this, and they're not quite as opaque. They do have a new formula that is their, is it their Butter Shine? Their Love Shine Butter Gloss. I forget what it's called, but it's brand new. The reason I don't have one of those is I was like, oh great, I wanna get one. I might still, but mm, I don't know. 
they have a pH adjuster in them. Every single shade, there are six shades and they all have a pH adjuster and I don't like pH adjusting lip products. I really, really don't. I think it's cool, whatever. It always turns the same hot pink shade on me and I don't like it. <laughs> so I might stay away from those, but if this kind of thicker, glossy is not what you're looking for, you might like the Love Shines better, but they're both the epitome for me of a purse lipstick. This is one that I talked about last week in my pink lipstick video. This is one though that it's, she's getting short. And I was thinking about the lipsticks that I reach for regularly that I'd be like, yeah. So this is from Gucci. It's such a pretty lipstick. This is their wall sheer lipstick. And this is the shade Love is Better. So it's glossy, it's comfortable. It's not really heavy or thick. And a really beautiful My Lips But Better shade. This is one that I pull out and I use like chapstick. It does have a, a scent to it. This is one of the most fragranced out of all the ones I've talked about so far. It has a really nice weight to it. It's beautiful. I think this is such a lovely formula. I know they used to have a wider range of shades in this formula and they're not right now. And I'm wondering if they might be discontinuing this line or whether they're revamping it or reformulating. I don't know, but if you see these, I think they're worth it if you can find a shade that you like. They're expensive, they're what, $45, $49? But if you like a kind of a bougie, <laughs> luxurious moment for your daily lipstick, you'd probably love this. I love the Dior Lip Attic lipsticks. These are so beautiful. I've been wearing this formula for a long time. This is the shade 716 Canage. I don't know if I'm saying that right, I don't speak French. But it's a beautiful, sheer slightly warmer brown it feels really good on the lips but it feels like nothing it just feels like my lips there's a little bit of a slip and a slide to it but not in a greasy or gross way but this is a sort of product that i want to have on my lips when they're like oh we're getting dry I, this is another one of those that i use kind of like a lip balm i quit swatching for you i'm sorry here's the one from gucci here's the dior addict shine this is a beautiful lipstick i i feel like this is the type of easy not too much if you wear it like it wears down beautifully right now this is kind of like full opacity couple of passes but if you do one light pass you know on your upper and lower lip press them together that's great or if you kind of load up one lip press them together i do like this when it's blotted and it's not that it i ever really put it on and then blot it what i do is i put it on like this and it wears off throughout the day but i like the look of it just a little bit more when there's not this much let me show you this is how i like to wear it and it still has a nice slip to it it still feels nourishing i don't feel like any parts of my lips are going to get dry and crusty even though this is a little bit of a deeper shade i don't find that it goes places and maybe in a year or two this might not stay where it is but right now i feel like even though my lips are getting more lined more wrinkles um, I do feel like certain lipsticks don't work the way they used to. This one is still great. And that's why that's the sort of product I wanna keep in my purse that I can easily reapply and not have to worry about. Here's one that I've heard people talk about for so long and I didn't pick up until I was doing my recent luxury lipstick series. If you wanna see that, I'll link it for you in the description box down below. But this is a Rouge Coco from Chanel and this is the shade Mademoiselle. So I was like, well, I don't know oh yeah it's so easy not too much another one of those slightly mauvey shades this has a little bit more of a hydration and a cushy feel than the one from gucci gucci feels really lightweight but this has more of a a cush but it's not really heavy it is scented Keep that in mind if you don't like that. Um, but I really love this color. This is a color I've seen so many people wear with different undertones, with different skin tones. It works on me, it works on both of my kids. I have seen Nikki LaRose, she says she keeps this in her pro makeup kit and she uses it on so many people, brides, mother of the brides, celebrities, like anybody. This is a great easy shade and I, I see it. I see it and I'm really glad I have it. This one's very similar, but it was kind of like a purse lipstick this winter for me. It is from Tom Ford. This is just called the lip color. This is the shade Indian Rose. This I think is such a favorite of so many people. This has 
more of a, a satin shine to it where it's not as sheer. It's a little bit more opaque. Here is Indian Rose. It's, I definitely feel like this one here from Chanel is a little bit sheerer, as is the Gucci. This one has a little bit more pink. This one has a little bit more, both of these a little bit more plum. I think you can see some of the subtle differences here, even though I love kind of like a mauve shade like this. I want it to be easy. I want it to be comfortable. This is one of those that so many people have told me that the Tom Ford, they go bad quickly. So if you get one, cause last I checked, they were $59. If you get one, put it in your purse, use it regularly. It's your daily luxury. You deserve it. If you're going to spend the money, don't let it go bad. I really like it. I feel like this works with a lot of different looks. It's easy. It looks great when it's blotted. It looks great when it's freshly applied. I don't have to have a lip liner for it. Definitely the epitome of a purse lipstick. The Armani Lip Power is another one of those that is easy for me. And I think a lot of it has to do with the shape of the bullet, this teardrop shape, this point at the top makes it really easy for me to get my Cupid's bow. And then the rounded part on the bottom is perfect for my lower lip. This is the shade 109. I like it because it's kind of like a pink leaning nude. The other thing that's nice about this is it's not a heavy lipstick. It doesn't feel, I feel like the YSL Candy Glaze, you can feel it on your lips. And this one, you can tell there's something there, but it's kind of lightweight, but it's also very hydrating, very hydrating. Another one that I have, another shade of, I have a bright red and 400 and this one, I use this one the most because it is the most kind of goes with anything sort of shade but I love this formula. I really, really like the shape of the bullet. This makes application so easy. And I like that it's not a matte. I know that they do have some of these lip power mattes. I haven't tried the formula because right now I feel like it has to be the perfect matte formula to not dry my lips out. And I purchased so many luxury matte lipsticks. I was like, we'll, we'll wait on the Armani, we'll wait. But if you've tried it, what are your thoughts? Let me know. I feel like every single one of my Merit lipsticks has been a purse lipstick at one point or another. This is the only matte lipstick in the entire bundle. This is their new signature lip matte. And this is the shade Vermilion. If you're curious, this is the same shade they say that their limited edition um, shade and aperitif was last summer. They brought it out for 2022 holiday. They re-released it in summer of 2023. If you always wanted it, but you didn't pick it up, this shade is the same, but it's not their satin formula. It's the matte formula, but the color is identical. Here is Vermilion. It is a beautiful warm red. This is one, I do need a mirror. <laughs> if I do it without a mirror, mm, it may not always be perfect, but I'll tell you, this is the epitome of a low maintenance red for me because once I put it on, I don't have to worry. I could be drinking out of a coffee cup. I could be drinking out of my water bottle. I could be transferring lipstick from here to someplace else and I don't have to worry it's gonna end up in weird places on my face. It has a really nice, comfortable feel to it. It's not drying. I've worn this matte formula for hours. And when my lips start to feel a little bit dry, I put another layer on and I'm good to go. This does not dry me out. This does not make my lips uncomfortable. At the end of the day, when I take my makeup off, I could wear this day after day after day after day, or this formula, and it would never chat my lips. That is not true for all matte lipsticks. And I like the fact that this is $26. This formula and their satin formula, their cream formula lipstick, there's eight shades in the cream, eight shades in the matte. I feel like for the price, these are some of the best formulated lipsticks you can get at Sephora because price-wise, they're not like up in the luxury price, you know, $35 and above. And they're also just, they feel so good. They wear so well. They do good things to my lips. And I do like the colors. I, you know, my kingdom for more colors. <laughs> I like the formulas enough. I'd like to have more, but the ones they have, I feel are a really good baseline for pretty much anything you might need. This last lipstick, I literally had to go get it out of my purse. This one's been living in my purse for almost a month now. And this is the Prada Soft Matte Lipstick. This is in the shade Tiepolo. I think it's shade 101. Yes, it's B101. So it is a beautiful, really easy, comfortable, not too heavy, well, I guess this is another matte. I did have two, but I don't really think of this as a matte lipstick. I think of it, this is silly. I think of it as a lip balm. I really do. This lipstick goes with so many 
looks. I can't tell you how many. I And that's why it's been living in my purse for almost a month. Um, here's where it is right here. This is beautiful. So it's a beautiful package. Um, I like that it's refillable. I also like the shape of the bullet. It's kind of a different shape than I'm used to. And I thought I was only going to use like the one side where it, you know, it had like a little triangle on it and, you know, was kind of like the Prada symbol. Um, I use it indiscriminately on both sides. Sometimes I'll, <laughs> which I never thought I would do, but I like it. It feels really good on the lips. It feels like a comfortable, nourishing lip balm, which is why when I was thinking, I only have one matte. No, 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 no. This is a matte too, but I forget that it's a matte because I don't ever think of it as a matte. I think of it as my like more pigmented lip balm. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something that's easy, that's gonna go with everything, that is, you know, almost no effort at all to put on. That's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about a purse lipstick. Um, these are just the ones that kind of fall into that purse lipstick category for me at this time of year. Um, if you wanna see this again, maybe fall, early winter, I'd be happy to do that. A lot of people have a, a list of essential things they take with them when they leave the house, like their phone, their wallet, their keys. And for me, it's phone, wallet, keys, and a lip product. Cause sometimes I don't take my purse with me, but I will always have a lip product on me. I don't ever want to be caught with that one. And these are great for just everyday wear, um, for a variety of looks. And they, they work well, a lot of them even on no makeup days, put them here. I'll pick up some of this and I'll tap it on here. And then I have me a little blush. It's, it's great. Thank you so much for watching today. Here's where I want to know, if you carry a makeup product with you at all times, what is it? Because it may not be a lip product. Some people are a concealer person. Some people are a powder person. Some people always need a little blush. Like what is the product that you carry with you? And I'd love to know whether you have multiples with you or whether it's one of those things where one will suffice. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you have a favorite purse lipstick or lips product that you carry on your person regularly, let me know what it is. I'd love to know. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have an incredible day and I'll see you again soon.